not money that makes you a billionaire. It's a billion dollar capacity. And today's quote says that money is not pounds, dollars, or naira. Money is an idea. Money is trust. Money is integrity. Money is value. Money is services. Money is solutions. And the oldest money is knowledge. The biggest money is scale. And the highest currency is relationship. While the latest money is attention. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Everybody wants to have money. Everybody wants loads and tons of money. Me too. I want to be a billionaire. Billionaire. When you hear that song, I want to be a billionaire, the first thing that comes to your mind is 30 billion for the account to you. But it's not money that makes you a billionaire. It's a billion dollar capacity that makes you a billionaire. And some of those capacities is number one idea. Do you have a billion dollar idea? The first and the most rudimental money in the world is idea. Even the currencies that we think are money, dollar, pounds, are idea. It all started with the idea of trade and butter. Then after butter, people started to think, okay, can we use gold and silver as the money, as a means of exchange? It was an idea for somebody, okay, Let's look for a commodity that is scarce and use it as a means of exchange. So the whole money idea is an idea. And the whole thing you see in this world, think about any billion dollar thing that you have in this world. The idea of people buying books online, Amazon, is an idea. The idea of, okay, let's extend it from books to every other known product in the world. Amazon is an idea. The idea of let's create a cloud where people store things more sustainably and permanently than devices, phone and hard drive. And Amazon cloud services is an idea. The idea of let's have a small device that can do a lot of things, even more than a supercomputer, is an idea. The most fundamental money in the world is, is an idea. Any idea you have that cannot lead to money is not an idea is an, a hallucination or a distraction or a destructive thought. How you know whether your idea is an idea is how valuable that idea is in money. So if you have an idea and you don't know how to turn it to money, that idea is not an idea, it's a distraction. Don't dwell on it until you see the money in it. A young man saw that people can connect over the internet for social reasons and called it Facebook and it became an idea that has grown bigger and bigger and every day he's improving that idea and is becoming one of the top richest people in the world for it so the most fundamental money is an idea the next money is trust trust is so valuable as a currency and as money that the fundamental thing called money is trust as a matter of fact globally right now all our currencies are just get their value from trust let me explain, in I think 1979 or 89, when President Nixon of America took the dollar of the gold reserve, all currencies in the world followed suit and then money went from money to being a currency. Before now, the whole world was using gold and silver as money, gold coins and silver coins because they had the same value all over the world. And when people started printing currencies like dollar, they printed the dollar versus gold reserve that means if you print one million dollars you have one million worth of gold in your central bank as a reserve backing those dollars but when those currencies were taken off the gold reserve it means you don't need to have gold to print your currency what made a currency valuable is trust if people trust your country and trust your leaders and trust your economy the currency of that country and economy will be high in exchange value because a lot of people trust dollars in the world that's why the dollar is valuable. Because a lot of people trust the stability of the British system. That's why the British pounds is one of the highest currencies in the world. So when people trust you, you become a more valuable source of money. So trust is another very fundamental money. 
trust. The next thing to trust is integrity. Integrity is your ability to stay true to what you are. In fact, all the quality of products in the world is integrity. Integrity is that if I say this Apple phone will last 10 years, it will last 10 years. If I say this Apple phone will last 10 years and it lasts 10 months, the product lacks integrity. And if I sold the first Apple phone for $1,000, I can't sell the next for $1,000 because it lacks product integrity. That's how you are as a human being. When you do the things you say you will do, you keep true to yourself, you have integrity, you are valued high. Like in real estate, developers like us, that people believe will have the integrity to build what we say we will build the way we say we'll build it. They pay more for our properties than those that say they will build and don't build. So integrity is the next money. The next money is value. In fact, everything called money is value. That's why money is more like a value exchange vehicle. So if you are not giving value, you are not giving money. Any value you have, your value is your net worth. Your value is your net worth. If you become more valuable, you become more money. And one of the places that shows value very popularly in our world now is football. If you are a skilled footballer, you are more valuable than an unskilled footballer. So the people who desk money is knowledge. I can't even provide emphasize that. But the biggest money is skill. What is skill? Skill is S C A L E. Skill. Any money you cannot scale, any business you cannot scale is small money. For instance, you learn how to make phones, but you don't know how to make 1 million or 10 million phones a year. You only know how to make one nice phone a year. You probably sell the phone for $1,000 and you probably make $500 as how much you can make in a year. But if you learn how to take that knowledge of making one phone, into an industrial system that can produce a 10 million phones for the 8 billion people in the world to be able to buy your phone. You go from making 500 uh, dollars per phone, and maybe those 10 million phones, you only make a profit of one million, one dollar from the phone because they're an industrial system, you pay salaries, you pay the industry, and you only make one dollar from that phone. 1 million phones, that means 10 million phones, you have ended up making 10 million dollars in a year as against the one person that made the one perfect phone for 1,000 dollars and sold it and made 500 dollars. You don't know how to scale your business, scale your solution to reach more people, you won't know how to make more money. Two things or two examples. The ordinary thing we eat every day, one of the most popular, the oldest popular food in America is burgers, hamburgers. But the McDonald brothers knew how to make very beautiful burgers, and very wonderful burgers, and they had one branch. But they couldn't scale the business. A man called Ray Kroc came and saw their business and told them, I know how to scale this came and saw their business and told them, I know how to scale this business so that we'll have more branches of the McDonald's business. They went to, into a partnership and Ray Kroc took McDonald's from one branch to over how many branches in 109 or 100 and whatever countries. And they've sold billions and billions of hamburgers and they've made billions and billions of dollars for it. Another person is Howard Swatch of the coffee, Starbucks coffee. Coffee is something we drink every day. But Starbucks had a, found a way of making coffee more valuable than we think it is. And then creating a coffee shop in almost every corner of every street in America and different countries in the world. And the Starbucks chain of coffees was scaled into so many shops and made the company a million dollar company. So scale, the high, biggest money in the world is scale. So don't just learn what you know how to do or learn how to scale it and that's why people like cristiano ronaldo are making a lot of money because they have scaled their brand beyond football and they've scaled into a lot of endorsement and a lot of products you hear of shoes by cr7 
you hear of uh, sneakers a lot of products to scale their influence and their brand to make bigger money so big money is skill small money is no skill so the biggest money in the world is skill and the highest currency in the world is not pounds the highest currency in the world is relationship relationship is so highly valuable and highly valued that if you know dangote today and dangote tells you go to cosmos madoka and tell him i said he should give you a range rover spot cosmos madoka is the md of koscharis motors who are the people with the sole right of selling range rovers in nigeria a range rover might be maybe around 120 million or 140 million but without a dime if you know someone like dangote and he tells you go to koscharis tell them dangote said and you go there and they call him sir there's one bunk come here call the mayor of housing he said you said we should give him a range rover spot he said yes please give it to him they will give it to you without a dime because of you know dangote the same thing with employment and appointments if the queen of england calls the consulate of england and says there's a man called my ace china please i want you to give him that new job that you are interviewing for he's competent and he's very able they will not only send for you but they will give you a red carpet reception and if you are competent and able you get the job so relationship is the highest currency it can open doors to you to places that money cannot even get you that ordinary money for instance if um, one of my mentors was recently invited to have an event with richard branson in his house there are a lot of billionaires with all the money in the world that cannot see Richard Branson. But because this guy had a relationship, he knew somebody that knew somebody that knew Richard Branson, he was invited to the billionaire's house. So if you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, you can get things done that money, integrity, value, services, solutions, skill, knowledge, idea, trust, and all the things we've talked about cannot get for you. So relationship is the highest currency. And the last but not the least is the latest money in the world is attention. Oh my God. We live in a 21st century reality that attention has become the new money. In the late 20th century, what you know was the money edge. What you know determines how much money you make. And that was the industrial age when knowledge was ruling. In the early 20th first century what you know and who you know connections became a very huge thing because if you know something and you know somebody you had the money edge but now in the latest 21st century part it is now what you know and who knows you for instance this content i'm giving to you is so valuable and i'm not going to make any money from it because nobody knows me i hardly have how many followers on social media but this same content if it was done by Mr. Beast that has over 200 million followers and everybody knows him. If this content was done on CNN by Richard Quest that everybody knows. If this same content was done by Denzel Washington that everybody knows. You probably pay a thousand dollars just to listen in to this free content I'm telling you. So the more people know you, the more valuable you are. And that's why across the social media platform, they pay you when large number of people begin to follow you that's why endorsement deals are given to celebrities and popular people because when they are known they get money why if people don't think about your product when they when they want to buy you won't sell so it's not about how good your product is it's how well known your product is guess what there are products that are better than apple in the market but they don't sell as much as apple and as expensive as apple because nobody knows them their brands are unknown like apple so the popular the brand the more the money attention is money if you can't get attention you can't get money if you are selling moi moi and you can't even get the attention of the people on your street to know that you sell moi moi nobody will buy your moi moi if you are selling agidi and nobody knows you sell agidi even your relatives don't know you sell agidi they won't buy your agidi but if you are well known in nigeria as mr agidi and everybody is talking about your agidi the video sings about your agidi uh, uh, 
Rufayo Seni of Arise TV talks about your giddy. Uh, even Agbado talks about your giddy. Before you know it, your giddy you become so valuable because that attention your giddy is getting. Not only will your giddy be more expensive than the street giddy, but you'll be able to scale it and make more money because you have attention. So the latest money is attention. All that the circle of most of these social media, especially like Facebook, is rallied around attention because how does Facebook make money? It's free. They make money from Facebook ads. Why do people want to advertise on Facebook? Because there are people on Facebook and if they can get your attention, they can get your money. So the more attention you get, the more money you get. And that concludes all the money in the world. So in conclusion, money is not pounds or dollars or naira. Money is idea, money is trust, money is integrity, money is value, money is services, money is solutions. And the oldest currency, the oldest money is knowledge. The biggest money is scale. How can you scale it? The highest currency is relationship and the latest money is attention. Go get all this. Get an idea. Build trust. Build integrity. Build value. Learn to give services. Get solutions to problems. Get knowledge. Scale. Build relationships and get attention and not only will you make money but you make so much of it that it will be far beyond your wildest dream and you even want to start giving it away because it will be so much money so money money money